Morning. Hi guys. Hi Lolly. Hi Brian. Hi Ava. Hi Wynn. Guys, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> um, but we're gonna try it. So today I have this little mini keyboard. It's a MPK mini. It's like the quarter of a size of a normal keyboard, maybe a third. Um, and I have the application Melodics that has like guided little study sessions. Um, and I'm going to try that out and see how I like it. Hi, Riley. Um, so, and, and, and so this is, this is going to be like the most basic shit possible. I'm going to be playing like single notes to a beat <laughs> for a while. <laughs> Just to prepare you guys for how thrilling this is going to be. Um, <laughs> hot cross buns is a very good goal. <laughs> Thank you, Riley. All right, so I technically already did. Did I only get through the first one? Nice. Let's do that one again. <laughs> Let me chug my water really quick. You're also going to be doing your single chord guitar practice while listening? <gasps> Brian! That's awesome. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Lolly. Oh. Okay, what are we doing? Is it... Thumb and Pinky on C? I think. Oh, oh, I'm an octave up. <laughs> octave down. There we go. Um. It wants me to do pointer on C. And pointer on other C? I guess. Good morning, Nico. I missed the first one. Huh. Have I ever played an instrument? I played trumpet in high school. I want to say it was like ninth and tenth grade. Oh, maybe that was middle school. I think I was choir all of high school. Oh my god. Okay, I played trumpet in middle school. <laughs> Um, so I used to know how to read music. That is correct. <laughs> um, I haven't like attempted to read music since the since high since high school, I guess. Um uh, I haven't like tried since, honestly. I feel like I could pick it back up, but I don't know if it'd be like riding a bike, you know. You played viola, Brian. Wow. I like, I was so jealous of, like I wanted to play like a wind instrument or percussion, but my, when I asked to join band, my band teacher was basically like, we need more trumpets. <laughs> I declare you trumpet. And I did not want to play the trumpet. But I did. 
I, w- I was. I was assigned trumpet. I was trumpet kind. I wish there was a way I could start this without having to click go. Because I have to like hit go and then rush to my keyboard. I had to put little sticky notes on all my keys. Because I was like, surely if I just label C, I'll, I'll know the rest of them. And that was not happening. Ryan, you played during sophomore year of college. Do you still have like access to, see it's tricky with like instruments is like you can know how to play it, but you need to, you need to like be able to play it physically to continue practicing, I guess. So like it's hard to keep your knowledge of an instrument up if you don't like literally own it. And like instruments are fucking expensive. So like Brian, do you have access to a viola? Are you able to like still play sometimes? Wait, is it okay? I did one. Did I do this one? No. You do? Oh, that's awesome. What does that mean? What does this mean? Finger positions. Oh, it doesn't show me during the preview, I don't think. I'm gonna assume it wants me to do this. Oh, middle. Okay. Okay. I kind of wish they showed me the finger positions before it like played the te the example recording. One thing that's been hard to get used to is like moving from one hand to the other. Like once, I guess like once you've reached like whatever your pinky can reach, it's like transitioning over to like a new set of keys. What, we got levels up in here? Turn it move. Turn it move. Look at these stats that I haven't been looking at. Amazing. I had given my one I played through college to my cousin, so I don't have my nice one anymore, but a theater colleague gave me a refurbished one for free. Whoa, that's crazy. Oh my God, that's awesome. Damn, that's so nice of them. Okay, so I think it wanted me to do... Does it still want me to do pointer on C? At least the music is good.
Oh wait, hold up. No, go back. Go back. Don't play it again though. Um Why does it want me? I don't think this program knows how big my keyboard is. Even though it does, I know it does. Cause I've input it, but it definitely also is ignoring that because why the fuck would I put my hand all the way over here? I'll do it. If it wants me to. Oh, wait. <laughs> no, start over. Fuck you. Oh. I guess you do have to learn to like... I don't know. Hand placement seems like so important to me, but maybe it doesn't even matter. You should get your violin from your mom's house. Do it. Do it. Did you play violin in high school, Ava? Did I do this one? Yes. Played from fourth grade through senior year. Holy shit. That's awesome. Violin is like one of my favorite instruments. And I will say that about like five different instruments, but it's true. Oh, am I an octave low? Oh, but I am. No, no, I'm not. Fuck you. Huh? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Pinky. Thumb. I have to get used to, like, the idea of using my ring finger for anything, like, like, my body does not know how to do it. Like, my ring finger feels so just, like, it's just there. It's not for anything, but the fact that I'm, I have to, like, use it is so bizarre, and I'm not very good at it. Thumb on C. Hello, Kale. Good morning. We're talking about music. And like instruments that we've played in high school and stuff. In college. Killed it. All 
All right. Um, and then this guy. Oh. I feel like I did this one. All this shit sounds the same. just go to the next course because I think we've got this. Interval training. Oh no. An interval measures the space between notes. Though seemingly plain, these gaps form the basis of musical harmony. Stacking interval intervals creates chords, while playing them in sequence makes scales. Start by exploring the smallest interval, seconds. I'm scared. Oh, this goes hard. I did trombone for eight years, then piano off and on for many years. Trombone. Wow. Did any of you do marching band? Because that shit seemed, that shit looked hard. I would die. Hi, Turnip. Okay, it wants me to do thumb. Start by playing the A section using minor second and major second intervals. A minor second is the smallest interval, equivalent to one half step. C to C sharp. A major second is slightly larger, spanning two half steps or a whole step. C to D, skipping C sharp. These intervals form the basis of scales and melodies. Okay. Thumb on D? Is what I wanted? Learn the intervals. Now try playing minor seconds and major seconds simultaneously. Count the half steps to confirm that E through F is a minor second and F through G is a major second. What? E through F is a minor second. Your E and F is a minor second. And F and G, oh. When played together, these intervals create a crunchy and dissonant sound. On the other hand, playing them one by one as a melody produces smoother and more flowing sounds. Oh, I've not been looking at chat. Oh, Nico, you did you did marching band, right? 
Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. Competitive marching band for you, Kale. Wait, what's competitive marching band? Are you making that up? How do you win? Oh, like show choir, but you know, that makes sense. <laughs> Competitive marching band is real and can hurt you. Uh, wow. Okay. Oh God. That's really bad. That's not F. Oh, fuck. Oh, my hands are in the wrong place. Let me do that again. E. F. G. E. F. G. Nice. We did it. <laughs> Learn the B section. Now complete the B section by adding melodies to the crunchy second intervals. It may be helpful to listen to this step a couple of times to get familiar with the rhythm. I took one guitar lesson in third grade and quit because it was hard. Guitar seem also does seem really hard, but then like you watch people who like learned guitar and I feel like half the people I know who learned guitar just like picked it up and like played around with it and that's how they learned. Like what? Why can't I do that? We learn a piano? Yes, we are. Welcome, Benny. Literally my first time attempting this. <laughs> High drift. Have you never seen the hit movie Drumline? I have never even heard of that movie. I'm so sorry. Yeah, drift is correct. I have not. <laughs> Hey, sorry, what am I doing? Where are my fingers? Pointer. I like that this, I like that they're using the word crunchy. I love that word being used to describe a sound. It. Fuck that up. Turn it. Move. Scoot. Scoot. Go lay down. Lay down right here. There we go. Thank you. Took piano lessons for a little bit, but hated recitals because I had terrible stage fright. That's fair. That's so real. Um, when I was in choir, we had exactly like one competition thing that we went to. And I had to do like I had to sing in front of, like, judges with a group of only, like, four people or something. That was a nightmare. That was a goddamn nightmare. I like doing, like, big group stuff. <laughs> Is this your first year doing well? Thank you, Kale. Yeah. I also haven't, like, I've forgotten everything music-related that I've learned. Like, again, if I try to read music, I don't think I'd be able to 
pick it up immediately. Fucking break core. So you said the movie Drumline, Lolly, and I'm picturing like a 70s, like, I'm picturing like Breakfast Club, but like it's about exclusively about marching band. That's my headcanon. Ooh, I'm hungry. Can we stop playing E and F together? Things like, listen to how Terrible this sounds. Keep doing it. Alright, thank you. Alright, thank you. Alright, what we got now? Water leap. Minor third and major third intervals are known for their harmonious and smooth sound. They work wonders in creating vocal harmonies and enriching instrumental layers. Oh god, it's the tiny keys! It does sound nice together. Early 2000s. It's about college marching band. I rewatched it recently. I used to watch it a lot when I was younger because I liked the music. Oh, that's cute. Wait, I don't know where it was to put my hands. Ah, thumb. Thumb and middle finger. And then pointer. Oh, God, that's so weird. Oh. Uh. Oh. Uh. So far. So far away. I think I also keep getting tripped up because like the visuals on the screen, the notes look like way further away from each other than they are like on my physical keyboard. <laughs> so I keep I keep really misjudging the distance of these keys. Add a harmonic layer to the melody using minor thirds and major thirds. A minor third is an interval consisting of three half steps, F sharp to A, while a major third spans four half steps, D to F sharp. Four half steps. The third intervals are the building blocks of chords and are widely used in harmonizing melodies across various instruments. Oh my god. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> oh shit. So it wants me to do. Oh, just like fun little combos of all these. Oh, do it again. Do it again. DF for. 
turnip? I swear to God. Oh, my... I'm not gonna be able to do this. D, F sharp. Holy shit. E. What is this? I don't even know what key that is. If this is F sharp, that's G sharp? <laughs> okay. Okay. Not feeling great about this. Ah! Ah, oh, fuck, hold on. D. F. Okay. 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 <laughs> oh. Oh. We're doing it. Ah! Okay. Okay, that felt a little comfortable. My brain's gonna work out today. I'm doing it. I'm pianoing. Oh, wait. Thumb. Thumb on D, right? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay. Almost. Okay. I didn't even have to look at the keys for that one. Okay. It also has like the playground feature where it's encouraging you to just kind of fuck around with it. I don't know if I'm at that stage yet. <laughs> it's cute because like I could attempt to play it just like raw. What was it? No. That was kind of it, I think. Record it. Ugh, get out of here. We've unlocked live stream. Perfect. No. Perfect fourth and fifths have a more open sound due to the wider gap between the notes. 
It can be used like chords, but with less notes, ideal for a lighter chord texture in your arrangement. When played separately, they make great bass lines and melodies. Pinky on B? No. B? Thumb on E. Oh, wait, hold on. I can't fucking get my hand on the keyboard in time! <laughs> That's not enough time! Pinky B. Pinky B. They need to count down a little slower. Oh! Oh! Ah, oh, shit. Play it together. Now place the hand slightly higher to F sharp and C sharp. Play the fourths and fifths intervals simultaneously. These intervals create a more open sound due to their wider gap between notes. They can be used like chords, but with a lighter texture, adding a sense of spaciousness to the music. F and C. I don't have that. <laughs> Fuck. So I have to octave up, I think. And then if I do this, now I have it. Okay. My keyboard is baby, baby sized. Oh. What the fuck? Oh god. B? We got B in there? Oh, wait, that was F. Ah, shit. Hold on. Okay. Okay. Wait, where do my fingers go? Combine and perform. Combine the two parts and play the whole arrangement. Uh, the form is melody, harmony, melody. Pinky on B, thumb on E. Oh God, oh God. G sharp. This is, <laughs> this is the whole ass song. It's so quiet. Why are my notes so quiet? <laughs> Thank you, Riley.
E. E through B. No, oh, it goes down to B. <laughs> oh, this is, oh, this is so hard. Well, let's try it. Let's just see what happens. Okay, what was it? E through B. I'm also going over to C-sharp. Ah, wrong one. Oh. <laughs> Shit, hold on. Oh, this is hard. No, let me do that shit again. I fucked the sharps up, like, so bad. Okay. E through B. Or gaming? <laughs> nice. Dude, I have a cut on my thumb that is making this so hard. <laughs> You got the ham emotes? Fuck yeah. Ham's emotes are so good. Will you play the other dancing one? Play. Will you post the other dancing one? I like how long it is. K.O. Try finding a C and look over to the next C. The distance between the two is an octave. Play them separately, like in Muse's Uprising for a funky bass line. Play them together like Cardi B's up to emphasize melodic ideas. Alright. I like this app, but some of the some of their verbiage is like a, just a little bit like, alright, alright now. Calm down. <laughs> it's just music. <laughs> Yes, that's the emote. <laughs> it's so long. It has so many frames. Good morning, Prongles. Not gonna say your silly little tagline. Oh, fuck. Down here? No. Octave down. The ham punch is good, too. It's so aggressive. Bow, 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 bow. Okay. 
Wait, what does it want me to do? Start by playing simple baseline. Okay. I can do I can do that. Right? Okay. Um, next step. <laughs> no, I actually showed up earlier, so it would be a lie. That's right, no lying in my chat. Yeah, this is like kind of going unnecessarily hard. So E, I'm doing E and F. <laughs> Nobody lies on the internet. That's a crime. Why is this, why, why is it talking to me? Octave baselines. Play the octave one by one to create a thin baseline. Adding an octave to the bass note gives it a classic and powerful sound. Remember to play the right hand notes on beat two and. Pointer on E and E. Wait, what do you want me to do? Oh, okay. I fucked it up immediately. Hold on. We at the club now. <laughs> this is like the jellyfish jam. That'll be my second um, goal. I think, what was it? My first goal was I should learn how to play hot cross buns. Um, and my second will be the, the jellyfish song from SpongeBob. It's quite the leap. Alternate between playing octaves together and separately to play the whole song. All right, I get it. Barely hear it, bro. What's happening? Is that just me?
this rhythm game doesn't even have any anime girls. Holy shit. I gotta turn my clapping down. Thank you, Drift. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, I'm going to do like... <laughs> I'm going to do like a couple more and then I'll be done. Thanks, guys. Thank you for your support. <laughs> See ya, Lolly. I can't see the Dog. end of the horizon. Hatsune Miku! <laughs> I, I have my feet, like, toggle. I forgot to specify what item it throws, so I think it throws a random emote at me every time. But it's, like, massive. It takes up, like, so much of the screen. I also love the Miku redeem. Wait, what is this? To start, take a look at the major scale. These set of notes are a foundation of this feel good major chords. A major triad is made of first, third, and fifth notes of this scale. Okay. All right. So we've got to go C, D, E, thumb. We're crossing over with that thumb. And then middle. Oh, I fucked it up. Oh, it wants me to switch the thumb so fast. All right. F is thumb. Okay. I fucked it up. Stop trying to redeem feet. You gotta cherish them while they're there. You know what? Yeah, I might be messing up the the hand placement, but I think so long as we get the notes at some point, that's okay. Okay. Shimmer. The C major triad contains the notes C, E, and G. This formula of root, major, third, and fifth can be applied to any key creating a major triad. The secret ingredient is the major third. Shimmer. Oh. Wait, where am I putting it? 
thumb on C. Oh. Up an octave, thumb on C. Oh my god, it's so hard to press those at the same time. What? Middle. Middle thumb. Middle. Pinky. Middle pinky? Middle and pinky! Sure. When I learned piano as a kid, it took me forever to learn why you couldn't just keep using your pinky to get to the rest of the octave. Yeah, it's like, like the the act of like adjusting your whole ass hand over one chunk is so hard to get used to. <laughs> just reach your pinky really far to get the rest of them. You can do it. C and G. Ah, oh, fuck. Stack the thirds on top of each other. Alternate the two third intervals on beat three and play the C, E, and G all together. Thumb, middle. Oh, fuck. No, come on. That's so hard. So hard to get my fingers to like. mashing the other keys do you have a piano keyboard or are you using a computer one um i have a tiny little piano keyboard it's like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen it's like 15 big keys long oh yeah we're in agile i'll, I'll tell you later <laughs> Or I'll repeat it. It's a tiny little keyboard. Um, so I keep having to like octave up and down. To actually complete these lessons. Jesus Christ. That was so fucking loud. Why am I alert so loud? What happened? Riley! <laughs> Thank you, Riley, for the gift. <laughs> <laughs> Do you still have to sit through the ads, though? That's so funny. No, this one. <laughs> Thank you, Riley.
Oh, I'll repeat it. Um, so I am using a little keyboard. Um, it's a mini. It's like a, I don't know, like a third of the size of an actual piano. But it's, but it's like, it's got a bunch of, bunch of stuff. If I like knew how to use it, I'm sure I could use this to make some really cool music. It's got a bunch of dials and shit that I don't know what they do. Carmine got it for me for Christmas. And it took me nine months to start using it for something. All right, C and G. Oh, my zooms now. <laughs> Hi. I guess it really just only says zoom, huh? With no other context. I've leveled up. <laughs> Thank you, Drift. Thank you. <laughs> Fucking Halo level up music. <laughs> Lurking while you're at work. Okay, apricot. Blech. Yeah, prongles. I can send you um the model or whatever of this thing. I like it. I like it's a it's a nice size. It can fit on my desk. It's smaller than my keyboard, like my typing keyboard. There's also some really cute ones online. If you want, like, I don't know, something aesthetic. I got some with cute colors. Okay, um, let's start wrapping it up. Huh. Wow, that went well. I was, like, really embarrassed. <laughs> I was scared to do this. But hey, I guess just like my Duolingo shit, I'm not gonna do it unless I fucking stream it, apparently. Because if I'm not streaming, I just sit on the couch and do nothing. <laughs> so this was nice. This was nice. I'm excited to continue this. Um, we are gonna raid Lolly. Lolly has a new model, if you haven't seen. A little new, a new PNG. Um, so stick around to go take a peek at it. She's using it right now. It's really cute. Um, yeah, I believe it's the model that eventually will be rigged. Um, it's very cute. She drew it herself. <laughs> nice emote prongles. Uh, all right, yeah, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for, what am I doing? Psychonauts? For more Psychonauts. Thanks for hanging out with me. This was fun. I'm gonna do more piano next week. Bye-bye.